What is up, YouTube? We're gonna pan throw games, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a brand new shiny hunting exploit for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And this exploit's pretty awesome as there's a bunch of different Pokemon you can catch in this cave and make your shiny hunt super easy. And of course, guys, you're new to the channel, you enjoy the Pokemon guides, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. So to begin, we're gonna want to fly to this spot here, the Million Volt Skyline, which is right next to the Electric City Gym. And then from here, we're gonna go north a little bit, right over here to a cave. So just follow my path. We're gonna avoid these Pokemon, jump over them, head down, look down this cliff side, and you can see a cave. And this is actually our brand new exploit cave. This is very similar to what we did with Larvitar and Bagon. And in this cave, if you've never been here before, there's actually going to be a Pyro. I actually recommend killing this thing first before attempting the exploit. Now that we've removed the Pyro from here, you wanna to head to this part of the cave where this rock is. It's on the left side of the cave. You wanna be sort of like a little bit in front of it, not behind it. And you can see how Pokemon are spawning from this back part of the cave. And this is our Pokemon spawner. So you can see a lot of Pokemon already spawning from it. You can get Young Goose, Makahita, Sableye, Diglett right here. I mean, Saladid, Roly Coley. Unfortunately, the Saladids are a little bit glitchy here, and they spawn in the ceiling. So this could be a good spot to hunt them, but I have mixed results so far of them. Uh, but make a save before you make a sandwich, because just in case you mess up the sandwich or you don't get a shiny within the 30 minutes, you want to go back to this safety save. So we're gonna make a picnic here and I have a list of recipes that you can use to make whatever sandwich type you want to hunt for. So I wanna do a ground type one to hunt for a shiny Diglett because I think the Diglett is a pretty cool shiny. So we're gonna go into creative mode here and every recipe on this list is gonna require a cucumber and a pickle. And if you do need recipe stuff, you can just go to the Electric City gym area. There's a supermarket. There are some other stores. I recommend going to like four or five of them and pretty much buying about 10 of each item and you'll be good to go on what you need. And because we're hunting a ground type, we need some ham. So we're gonna get some little pieces of lechonk up in here. And then I'm gonna use a spicy and a salty Herba Mystica. Your flag doesn't matter. And then all you gotta do is make sure you don't drop anything. If you do drop one of the main ingredients, it may not make the sandwich type you're hoped for because this is shiny level three, encounter level three, and title level three. So it's pretty much a fantastic sandwich. But if you do drop an ingredient, you may not get all three of those. And that is when you wanna go back to your safety save and make sure you know you can redo this and not lose any of those precious Herba Mysticas. All right, we got everything we wanted for ground type. And now we're gonna hit Y to undo the picnic and then we're just gonna hope we get a shiny but because i am in pokemon scarlet i will get larvitar spawning here too so i am hunting both larvitar and diglett at the same time if you were in pokemon violet you would only get diglets from this hunt but you could hunt a shiny bag on in pokemon violet by doing this method and you could do dragon type food as well so i wanted to really show that off too but this will keep on spawning a lot of Pokemon. You don't have to be really aggressive with this. You could run up an auto battle, but you don't actually need to. And I think keeping the positioning of this spot is going to be very important. And once they stop spawning in, you know, we can wait like five, 10 seconds after the last spawn. You'll eventually realize, okay, there's going to be no more spawns. We're still even getting more spawns. And this is a pretty massive room of Pokemon. So it looks like we've gotten everything here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to hit the picnic button, we're gonna reset, and we're just gonna keep doing that until we get a shiny that we want. And like I said, there's a lot of different Pokemon that you can actually shiny hunt here. So if you're going for a full shiny dex, this is definitely gonna be one of the best places in the game to do it. Hey, and there we go. That's a shiny Diglett back there. Easy, look at that. And that was within the first three minutes of the sandwich. Can't forget that nose all the way here, that blue nose guy. So that's one shiny down. I mean, we, now we can go for the full shiny family. We can actually go for the whole Larvitar shiny family as well. We would like to do that too. But this method works. Of course, your luck can depend. I have the shiny charm and I'm using a sandwich. So my odds are pretty fantastic. But, you know, it could take you one sandwich or two or three to get your first shiny. Just to put that out there because at the end of the day, we're all fighting RNG together. All right. To reset, just remember to go back to the rock. Just like a little bit in front of it and try not to get in any encounters hit that picnic button and you may need to realign a little bit but it's easy to do once you see the pokemon spawning in 
So let's see if we can get the Pokemon spawning in. So there we go. They're coming right back in. And we're going to be good to go to continue this shiny hunt. And we got our second one. A little bit late into it, though. But, hey, six minutes left. That's pretty good. Two shinies with one sandwich is always going to be a good time. Number two. So that was about at the five-minute mark left on this sandwich. So two shinies in one. Pretty solid. I'll take it. I'll take two shinies in one one sandwich that's pretty much the average that you honestly want i mean one shiny during the sandwich is pretty good too because the shiny's better no shiny but two definitely makes it super worth it and now for a fighting type sandwich we'll get us a bunch of makahitas spawning and makahitas the only fighting type that spawns here so this is going to be like a guaranteed shiny on this which is going to be a lot more consistent than the ground type one we did for a uh, diglet where larvitar could have showed up i mean same issue with doing a rock type one in pokemon scarlet as you could be hunting for roly colies but then a shiny larvitar could appear as well so this is a nice clean hunt to do too now if you do normal type you have a oh my god we got a shiny right when i was recording it okay that's a little bit crazy but yes you can get shiny young goose but dunsparces gumshoes will also spawn a couple of them will spawn from the ceiling too which is a little bit sketchy but literally i just started this sandwich and we got the shiny immediately so that is what we call content creator luck right there but there there we go on the normal type one that was pretty simple now if you do a darker ghost type sandwich you'll just get sableye which is really great the shiny is wonderful it's a golden shiny so if you want to chase that golden sableye this location is definitely gonna be one of the best ones to do and here we have the rock sandwich giving us roly coley and larvitar if you are in violet though you don't have to worry about the larvitar which honestly makes this spot a bit easier for violet players because you can easily hunt one type of pokemon but for scarlet you got to deal with larvitars in the rock and ground subset and lastly here is what a fire or a poison sandwich will do for you get salanded but you notice how the sounders are spawning up in the roof. So it is a bit annoying to actually hunt this one. You may have to wait around for some of them to eventually fall through the ceiling to fall to the ground. But if they are shiny, you can see them through the ceiling. You can aim your Pokeball at them and throw it to encounter them. But this one is not that great. I mean, I've seen other people have a decent time with this. But my personal luck has not been good just getting the spawns to appear onto the ground. I mean, they're slowly coming in, but it's really slow. So you may actually just be better off doing like a mass outbreak for this instead of just trying to come to this cave and trying to get that shiny. Well, guys, that is the brand new shiny exploit, shiny hunting zone for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I hope this video is really helpful for you and you get a lot of shiny Pokemon. I mean, I got a couple just from doing a couple of hunts, so I'm sure you guys will do better than me. Anyways, thanks for watching, and if you're new, please subscribe and like the video as well. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, and have a great one.